Right then, we have been given access to a standard deluxe cabin on Avalon Vista, and this is 113. So we're obviously on deck, the first deck, and this is the cabins, this Pauly Morgan, that, that obviously are the cheapest um, to get on the ship. Yes, indeed. And as you can see, um, if we go straight to the to the windows, you can see that obviously it's not a um, got a panorama window or balcony windows you're actually at water level which I get poor to open the the curtains you can see how close you are I mean you can see through the next there but yes so you can see that you're obviously right close at um at the water level but it does leave a put a lot of light into the room doesn't it Paul yeah yeah, yeah. It gives you a totally different different view obviously the windows do not open <laughs> so um anyway so that's the so if you imagine that there that's about the water line, isn't yeah. It? So everything there is underwater. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Cool. so let's start with the bed area. Um, double bed, same size as what we've got. we've got. We're staying in the panorama suite, which I'll put a link in here so you can compare. But let's start with the storage and the plugs by the bed, because everyone asks about those. Don't they? What plugs has a cabin got? European plugs um, on this ship. There's there, and uh, we'll go around the other side in a moment, and you'll see that there's a European plug. Um, socket the other side too. Two bedside lamps as you would expect with two little cabinets either side for a little bit of extra storage. Yes yeah, so you've got the switch for the lights, you've got a, a two round pin plug and you've got the um, announcement volume there and as you can see actually it's it's not huge no. um, but you feel you can walk around the bed quite easily still, don't you? I'm very very surprised because it, it, you know in put it in perspective this is the worst cabin on the ship yeah so exactly you know. so this is the first way into getting on an Avalon um, river cruise ship um, which we thoroughly recommend because we've had such a good time haven't yes, we definitely. but let's start with the TV um, over here which has got going to have the same as what it's got yep. lots of information on there if Paul opens those cupboards there, you'll see you've got a mini bar which is chargeable, which you can see here. This is how much it will cost um, for your mini bar. And the cupboard there. We are going to put a post together about all the drinks prices on Amma Waterway, so we'll put a link in the description to that too. And when you get on, you do get two complimentary bottles of water and an ice bucket, which are both refillable at the water station yes. and ice station. There's two USBs here and another plug. So this room's got loads of plugs, hasn't it? And this side as well, you've got more storage. So lots and lots of storage here. Those are our um, excursion boxes where you put your earphones in, which you'll find here. And there's just a little bit more information about the room and some disinfection there, hand disinfection. So if we go to the wardrobes, so, yeah, double. Double wardrobe, full length. So that's that's good. And then next door, then we've got a shelved wardrobe, which has got a safe um, laundry bag, and also you've got your slippers and your dressing gown plus um, two blankets, which do come in handy if you're cruising the Rhine in October. Yes. There's two coat hangers just behind you there, Paul, as well. Yeah. So, um, well, you can put your dressing gowns. Yeah, this is really the major difference. I mean, obviously, the major difference is the window there as well, but this is what I notice. Yeah, the um, bathrooms are a lot smaller yeah. in this cabin than in the panorama suite. Um, but still, I think, a decent size, Paul, don't you? Not, yeah, not bad. It's not it's bad. Um, I guess if you look at the floor space here, it is quite tight. And if I get... I'll open the shower. And you can have a look in here. Um, you've got your washing line as you would expect and if you look down here um, it's not huge you've got the same toiletry as La, La Occitane Tain. Um, but yeah it is a lot smaller and then if I turn because I turn around here it's quite tight actually so I'm sat on the toilet um, that's I'm not really sat on the toilet I'm just sat on the lid just to clarify um, but down here, you've got um, a cupboard with a little waste paper bin, and you've got spare toilet roll and more storage. And in the cupboards over there, if Paul opens those, we can show you that you get a hairdryer, um, a magnifying mirror, more storage there, some tissues, and 
another little sort of narrow cupboard there. So, yeah, so this is um, a decent cabin, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So if you're on a, on a budget and you want to experience Avalon, then, um, you know, this is the first way in. I have definitely been in smaller cabins. Yes. That are less well appointed. I yeah. think, for, like you said, for the budget first way in, I think it's a nice little cabin. Yeah, it is. Lovely. So if you haven't already, then why not go and watch our panoramic suite video now?